Thank everything on Mother Earth that was put here by the Creator. Amen. Here yeah. we go. Oh, that's right. Give me a wine glass. Why don't you? You want to trade? You got? Oh, and take care. Who wants wine? things next week. Thanks, Kathleen. Good morning. Hey. So how'd the house hunting go? Check it out. Zoe doesn't know yet. Don't want to get her hopes up. Over this? Well, who's your realtor, Cat? Herman Munster? <laughs> well, at least it's a better neighborhood and it'll be a better school for Zoe. You know, you might improve the picture. You put a man in there. Yeah, that's all I need right now. What the credit union you say about a down payment? About 10000 What? I guess I'll just have to moonlight for a while. Well, if it isn't our fearless leader himself. So if this deal goes through, how many employees are we going to need to keep on? 40, 50? No, no, more like 20, maybe 15. I mean, everything but the final assembly be done in Mexico. That's a lot of layoffs. Don't see people. See dollar signs. That's what your old man would do. Well, at least they'll get severance pay and unemployment. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Miss Russell, hmm? you have a telephone call. Hello? Yeah. Mm-hmm. This is Zoe's mother. She did what? Why do I even bother to play this game? Hello. Yeah, a second. 
Field. Great, put him on. Senor Del Campo, great to hear from you, sir. I've been hearing nothing but wonderful things about your meeting with Mr. Herbert. I'm looking forward to meeting him myself. Y you're coming here? No, no, that's terrific. In fact, that I insist you be my guest. My family? What family? Javier, it's Dave here. Well, how are you? I can't wait to see you again. Well, great. I will have a limo waiting for you at the airport. Terrific. Senor Fields' family is looking forward to meeting you too, sir. Okay, great. Well, adios. Or, uh, hasta Las Vegas. Okay. Bye-bye. What family is he talking about? When I got back from Mexico, I told you I had to polish your image a little bit. Well, by giving me a family? Sam, wake up. Smell the cafe con leche. This, this, this Javier Del Campo guy is real old country. He only wants to do business with solid family men with old-fashioned values, comprende? Yeah, fine. Hey, hey, so... You should be thanking me, buddy. I just saved a $50 million deal. Right, so what happens when Del Campo wants to meet the field familia? Well, no problem. He's only coming for a couple of days, and Uncle Dave's got that all taken care of. Oh, no. They had to call me away from work for this. Do you know what that costs? And how could you put that that in Mrs. Travis' desk when you know she's afraid of animals? No one's scared of whiskers. <gasps> well, Mrs. Travis was. And who told the principal that her father was gone on some secret government mission? Zoe. Zoe, you got to stop making up these stories, honey. It was better when Daddy was here. Well, he's not here. And we have to accept that he may not come back. <gasps> Zoe. Zoe, don't do this. Zoe. Zoe? Someone in this family doesn't want her Christmas presents. Russell, get down this instant! Thanks, Bridget. I'll be back at 5 o'clock. If angels are really invisible, how do you know if one's there? When you hear music and there isn't any, an angel's there. But if they're invisible, how can I see them? Well, you have to look really hard, because on Earth they wear their wings inside so they can look just like you and me. I bet an angel could bring my daddy home. Hmm. The angel thought it was a good thing for both you and your daddy. Maybe. But remember, you have to be a good little girl to be lucky enough to have an angel hear you. And that means... Not giving your mommy trouble with school and not climbing that tree. I promise I'll never climb the tree again. <laughs> if there's an angel listening, please bring my daddy home. And get us a house like my dollhouse for us to live in together. Except for today, I've been a very good girl. How was she? That was good. I have a treat for you. What? What? Pizza! Yummy! <laughs> Thanks, Bridget. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs> Zoe, remember, listen for the music. Mm -hmm. Okay. Bye. 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 Hi, honey. I'm home. Hi, honey. Uh, what's for dinner? How should I know? Ask the servants. Dad, can I have a car for Christmas? Please? Stop! Stop, you're hurting me. You're losing the reality, kids. 
You're a loving family. Where are the hugs? Where are the kisses? You're his wife. You know what you're having for dinner. And you, you, you sound spoiled rotten. I'm playing a rich dude's kid. What'd you expect? I expect father knows best, not family feud. Let's go from the top. You think I'm going to demean myself like this just for a deal? Uh, oh, wait a minute. Not a deal, Sammy boy. The deal. The deal you've busted your hump for ever since your father said you'd be lucky to make janitor. Huh? Honey, what's for dinner? Okay, just so you know, my agent said nothing about making dinner. I have a staff, remember? Sleigh bells ring. Sleigh bells ring. I'm the Yes, I am. In the lane. <laughs> In the lane. Snow is the snow. Oh, it is. This is supposed to be my family. Get them out of here. Del Campo's coming tomorrow. Now. Fine. You guys were terrific, okay? Just terrific. Especially you. I, I really liked your interpretation. He's looking for something a little bit more Brady Bunch. That's all I need. A beautiful sight. We're happy, happy tonight. tonight. Walking in a winter wonderland. Oh, Zoe. Aren't the lights just beautiful, huh? Mommy, stop! What is it? What is it? It's my dollhouse. Zoe, no. Zoe, wait. Zoe! Again, Zoe. Sam, I will find another family. What do you think, Dave? They're just gonna walk in off the street? open. I know that's no excuse, but uh, wow. What an amazing, you know, of all the houses in the city that uh, here we are in yours. Zoe. Zoe, we shouldn't be here. Come on. Mommy, this is my dollhouse. <sighs> No, sweetheart, this house belongs to someone else. Now, come on. No, no, this is where we're supposed to be. You look familiar. Uh, yes, Mr. Field. I work for you. Really? I'm sorry. Th this won't happen again. Goodbye. No, wait. <laughs> look at them. Now that is a wife. And that's a kid you wouldn't want to drown. Mm. At least they look real, you know, ordinary. We're going now. No, wait, 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 wait. We need to rent a family to help us to do business with somebody. Now, it's a couple of days, a thousand dollars, everything absolutely open and above board honest. What do you say? Uh, he's kidding, right? I'm afraid not. Oh, I get it. Your mother's coming to town, hmm? <laughs> no. No, 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 no. A very important business associate is flying in from Mexico. And what if you like us, Mr. Field? Is there an option to buy? This is serious business, Miss... Uh, Russell, Kathleen, Russell. Russell. You'd be helping Field Industries, Kathleen, and loyalty to the company has its own rewards. Gentlemen, my daughter and I are not for lease. Excuse me. Okay, $2,000, but that is my final offer. Thousand bucks a day? You don't even go to work, Kathleen. And all we have to do is pretend to be your family? That's all. <laughs> you really think you can pull this off? Oh, absolutely. Three thousand. Out of the question. I wish you luck. Okay. Deal. Oh, not so fast. I need to discuss this with my daughter. So we listen to me. Mommy, take it. I 
guess we have a deal. I now pronounce you man and wife. to make up stories, to pretend. You don't like when I pretend. Yes, but this is different. You see, Mr. Field is Molly's boss, and we're doing him a big favor. Oh, good. You're here. Yes. Hawthorne, park the car to sight, would you? Yes. So, is everybody, um, clear on the program? Don't worry, Mr. Field. We won't disappoint you. May I make a suggestion? What? Well, your house is, it's lovely, but it doesn't exactly look like a family lives here. In fact, it barely looks like you live here. Oh, it is a little cool, isn't it? Exactly. But perhaps if you threw some toys around it and, and had a cheery fire blazing in the fireplace. Great idea. That's a great idea. Some family photos. Uh, I brought these. Well, well, let's not get carried away. No, 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 no. She has a point, Sammy, that sets the scene. Yes. I mean, take this tree. It, it is... Stunning, but did a designer do it? Yes. Yes, I thought so. Wait a minute. You are, you are not going to mess around with my tree. It's just if I were really Mrs. Field, I, I would put up some old-fashioned ornaments. Make it look like a family decorated it together. Isn't that the point? Brilliant. Sam, she's brilliant. Just do whatever she says. Kid, <sighs> come here. Do you think you can remember to call Mr. Field here, Daddy? I think I can handle it, Daddy. Thank you, Sally. Zoe. Zoe. What do you think? <sighs> well, they certainly are a challenge. Hey. Yes, dear? Does your face hurt? Excuse me? It looks so tight. Why don't we all go upstairs? This is better work. It's fish cake. Now, look at this hair. It's horrendous. Can you do something? Can you give it some life? France and Italy. Who drives you to school every day? My daddy. What was your favorite family vacation? Disney World. Can we really go there? Of course not.
you want to get home every night? You don't usually come home. Uh, Annie. Annie. Sir. Six o'clock. You never miss dinner with your family. Good. What's my wife's favorite food? Uh. Come on, it come on. It's it's uh. Find out what it is. Um, any questions? We are not paid to have questions, sir. Oh, he's here. He's here! Okay, people, let's make this work. To your station. Del Campo's here. I know. Where's Mrs. Wu? What's her name and the kid? Zoe. Kathleen, Zoe. remember? Zoe. Don't let him in yet. Wait. Why? Oh, the ring. What? Oh, my Your God. ring. I have. Come on. Here. Oh, no. It's a wrong finger. He's not. Oh, get here. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Thank you, sir. And who may you be? Hawthorne, sir. Hawthorne? No relation to the famous author. I fear not, sir. Senor Del Campo, welcome to the Casa of Senor Field. Well, thank you, Senor Herbert. It's a pleasure to see you again. Senor Del Campo. Finally, we meet. It is an honor, Senor Field. Ah, your family. Senor Del Campo, I'm Kathleen Field. It's a pleasure to meet you, sir. No, the pleasure is all mine, Senora Field. And this is my, our daughter, Zoe. Mucho gusto, a canacelo, senor. Hablas español, you speak Spanish. Uh-uh, my mom taught me that. <laughs> <laughs> most charming, most... But I thought you had a son. Uh... Well, I... Zoe is such a little tomboy. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a drink in the living room. Please. Arthur. Senora. Oh, thank you. The sun? Forgot. You have a lovely home, warm and inviting. Thank you. Mommy, did you hear that? Your trips could not have been better. Lucky man to have such a lovely wife and charming daughter. <laughs> Very lucky so far. Felicidades. Look at that. That's magnificent. Bravo. Wow. Bravo. That is a. I was going to eat that all in one bite. <laughs> I know. <laughs> no. Senor Field, thank you. Thank you so much for opening your home to me. It is our pleasure, sir. You must have had a long trip. It wasn't too bad. What are you looking at? I am most impressed. You have hairs on your nose. Face. So do you. Do not. Do too. Row up. You first. <clears throat> I would like to propose a toast to my lovely hostess. Well then, to my wife. Hmm. If I may, how long have you two been married? Eight Twelve years. Twelve years. Eight years. You're right. <laughs> Seems longer. <laughs> you know, it is always fascinating to know how couples first met. How did you meet your wife, Senor Field? Uh, that's... You tell this one, huh? Oh, no. 
You tell it so much better. <laughs> oh, really? Well, maybe I do. Um... An angel got them together. An angel? He didn't look like an angel, because on Earth they wear their wings inside. But he was an angel, all right. I see. And, and what did this angel do? Hmm? He, he told my mom she was going to make them in. She would fall in love with them. But my mom didn't believe him, because she doesn't believe in angels. Then one day, my mom was at this restaurant, just standing there, waiting for a table. And she heard someone walk up behind her, and she thought, it's him. Not it's him, the man I'm supposed to meet, but it's him, the man I'm supposed to fall in love with. And it was him, my dad, I mean. They fell in love and got married and had me. And we lived happily ever after in this house. <laughs> what a romantic story. <laughs> Did it really happen like that? Absolutely. <laughs> that was absolutely it. Uh -huh. <laughs> I know another one. Oh, sweetheart. It's getting really late, and I think you should say... Good night. Terrific idea. <laughs> Typical married couple. Always completing each other's sentences. Oh, yeah. yeah. <sighs> Come on. Say good night to Senor Del Campo. Buenas noches, Senor. Good night, Zoe. Good night, Daddy. Good night, Zoe. <laughs> what a precocious child. Isn't she, though? <laughs> Good night, Hawthorne. Good night, Senor Field. And thank you for a most pleasurable evening. You are most welcome. You have a fascinating library. I will browse. Take a book to bed. Thank you. Sweet dreams, Zoe. Good night, Mommy. Good night, sir. Smooth. Yeah, well, Bill Campbell was watching. What do you thought? Um, could I go to my room now? Yeah. Sure. Sure, it's okay. Good night. Good night. He's still there. In fact, you can even have my bed. I'll crash on the couch. I don't think so. Well, suit yourself, but trust me, the bed is a lot more comfortable. My daughter may walk in here in the middle of the night and find us together. I can't share your bedroom. Miss Russell, may I remind you that this is a business transaction? And may I point out to you, Mr. Field, that I am a single mother with a very impressionable daughter. If she walks in here and finds us together, yep. you'll wish you never had a family, rented or otherwise. You go to bed already. Okay. And just where do you propose that I sleep? In there? In the dressing room. Fine. That's fine. May I at least have my pillow? It's not my pillow.
Is there anything else you need? No, 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 you don't. No, I want in there while it's still night. May I at least have something to sleep in? All of my things are in the other room. Are you all right in there? No. Is my bed comfortable enough for you? Very. There's no angle on this. I don't suppose you fellas feel like calling off that double or nothing. I didn't think so. <laughs> well. Yes! I couldn't make that one again if my life depended on it! Gentlemen, let's settle up over drinks. On me. Hey, Jerry! <laughs> the tour ain't nearly been as wild and crazy without you. Tour? Okay, okay. Take it easy, would ya? Where to? A uh, bus station. Where are you headed? Home. It's time to go home. Hawthorne, we did it. Thank you, sir. This is, this is a really big toy for a little girl. And you know what big toys do? They break things. I'm not going to break anything. Well, ow! Where's Mr. Del Campo? Dave took him to the airport. Good. We're ready to go. Zoe, get your coat. But, Mommy, we can't leave. Zoe, what did I tell you? Now, come on, please. Thank you, Zoe. You were very good. Me too. She was. She was, she was great. As were you, Mrs. Miss Russell, thank you. You're welcome. 
Mr. Hawthorne? Yes, madam. We're ready to go. Would you mind putting my bags in my car, please? Oh, certainly, madam. Thank you. How did it feel, being a family man? Completely terrifying. <laughs> oh, good evening, sir. Good day, Arthur. Great news, everybody. Senor Del Campo's decided to stay until negotiations are completed. Of course, that would require extending my visit another two weeks. I wouldn't dream of imposing on your hospitality. No, 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 Javier. As I told you, Sam is only too happy to have you stay. Su casa is mi casa, right, Sam? <laughs> Absolutely. We are only too happy to have you stay, senor. Are we, darling? Absolutely. Would you excuse us, please? My wife and I need to talk to the cook. Oh, senora Field, I noticed your luggage. Are you going somewhere? Well... No. No, no, no. That's just old stuff for goodwill. Hawthorne, take care of that, will you? Yes. So. It was for two days. I'm not any happier about this than you are. Five thousand. Ten. Ten? Ten thousand. Are you crazy? No, no, no. All right, but, but you stay as long as it takes. Fine. Uh, Mr. Field, whatever happens, I need to be sure I have a job to go back to when this is over. You'll be taken care of. And you can call me Sam. Uh, paragraph 2.02 .02 still doesn't read like I said. Okay. I want to look at the amendments, all of the amendments for section 3. This is... This is... Uh, okay. Regards... not good at games. Not about skill, it's about fun. Oh, come on, there's much more to life than, than just works in your field. Come. Popcorn's ready? Oh, good, good, good. absolutely. Oh. Mommy, you play and I'll spin the wheel. <laughs> I don't think so. What's the matter? Afraid you'll have a little fun? That's it? That's... Give me an easy one. Left hand red. Left hand red. Easy, easy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Right foot red. Okay. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are funny. <laughs> I won! I won! <laughs> 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 They're not home, Mr. Russell. Ah, oh, Bridget. You're a sight for sore eyes. It's good to see you, darling. Oh. So when are they going to be back? I'm not certain. Well, where are they? Look, Bridget, I know I should have been back here a lot sooner. I'm, what's it been? Two, three months? Six months. Six months. All right, you got me. Look, I just... I want to spend Christmas with my little girl. She asked about me.
No, Kathleen gave me an address. For emergencies only. anything. I'll take the clips. Thank you. You don't like kids, do you? There's nothing wrong with kids. Just like there's nothing wrong with broccoli. Some people have a taste for it. Some people don't. Do you like broccoli? No. Me neither. Dinner's almost ready. Where's Mr. Del Campo? Dave took him to a restaurant. Look, do you think you should keep her out of here? This is not a playroom, and this is not a toy, okay? She won't bother anything. Can you tell me something here? Yeah, how do you get her to listen, you know? Zoe, from now on, this room is off limits. It's not that hard. Thank you. Cut up my cigars. They're bad for you. Mr. Hawthorne told me. These are Cuban cigars. Don't yell at her. Do you, do you know how much these cost? Put that down. Give me that. That's terrific. Why is it that everything you touch gets broken? little arrangement does not give you the right to discipline my daughter. Well, if you would just teach her some boundaries, then maybe she'd know better. <gasps> That's great advice coming from a man who needed to rent a family. Do you think you could just leave me alone now? I'll do even better than that. We quit. None of this is your fault. I'll be right back. I know. Whoa! Wait, wait, wait. I know I was a jerk. Just give me a, a chance to apologize. To Zoe. Okay. Zoe? Mr. Field is here, and he has something to say to you. Will you talk to him? I'm sorry, Zoe. What do I have to do to get you to forgive me? A pony would be nice. A pony? You're a heck of a negotiator. I could use you with Del Campo. Look, I'm, uh, I'm really sorry, Zoe. I, I was, I was... Dumb? Yeah. Yeah, real dumb. Can you forgive me? I guess so. I didn't mean to mess up your desk. Oh, that's... That's but... okay. It's just water, right? Can we go back to the house now? We can go now. All right! I'll get dressed. <sighs> that was very nice of you, Sam. Yeah, well, don't want to get around. That could ruin my reputation. <laughs> so we'll uh, stay until Del Campo leaves. Thanks. You're saving my neck. Your neck isn't my concern. I have plans for that money. Are you the artist? Very good. 
I mean, it's, it's terrific. You ever uh, thought of doing this professionally? I, uh, I wanted to study in Paris, live abroad for a while, but I got married, had Zoe. Jerry left, and everything changed. Couldn't have been easy for you to walk out of there tonight. Everything's for Zoe now. Excuse me. What? Do you live here? I work here. What do you want? I just need a little information about the occupants. You're not from the police, are you? Yes, ma'am. Plain clothes. I knew this would lead to trouble. What would? All the lies about the woman and the little girl being his wife and child. Tell me about your employer. Mr. Field? He owns Field Industries. Field Industries, huh? Hey, I bet that one's Donner. It's Donner. Donner. Donner are the people who ate each other. We study them in school. Right, like you'd know. I'm right. No. Yes. No. Yes times infinity. No times double infinity. Infinity is forever. You can't have double forever. <laughs> You rented her. I hope you're not too cold, senor. I know you're not used to this kind of weather. Oh, I find it very invigorating. And I enjoy watching your wife and daughter having so much fun. Skater Zoe? Well, I think your father needs a little help. Senor Del Campo told me to help you. Oh, he did. I can't skate. Yes, you can. My mommy taught me, and I'll teach you. Zoe, I couldn't do it when I was a kid, and I can't do it now. There's no need to be afraid. I want no, you. Zoe, I don't. Gone. No, this is not a good idea. But okay. Mr. Del no. Campo said so. Zoe. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Here, here. <laughs> I'm gonna fall down and make a fool of myself. I'll catch you. I promise. Promise. I stick a thousand needles in my eye. <laughs> now, just keep 
your ankles real straight. That's good. Now skate. You're getting the hang of it. Yeah. I am most impressed by your husband's business. He has achieved great success. Sam is a very ambitious man. There's nothing he won't do to get ahead. Shall we? Sure. You're an excellent skater. So assured. And in control. As in all things I've noticed. I've been on the ice since I was this high. So he can't believe that I never fall down. Really? Amazing. Perhaps it is best not to be so self-assured. Life has a way of surprising us. Come on! You can do it! <laughs> you did it! You really did it! Yeah, I did, didn't I? I'm just gonna sit this one out. Thanks. I think we're cramping your style. Why? Why do you say that? Oh, come on. Tell me you didn't want to skate with her. I'm here with your wife, too. She's not my type. <laughs> Not your touch. Hmm? Not really. You don't trust easily, do you? I used to. Mom, come skate with me. I think Zoe needs me. Did you have fun tonight? Yeah, I taught Sam to skate. I saw. Very impressive. Good night, sweetie. Sam, Zoe would like you to tuck her in. Who's this? That's my dad, my real dad. Where is he? He's in astronaut school. That's why him and my mommy got divorced. Because he had to go so far away to do it. I didn't know that. Did daddy give you that toy? Uh-huh. Can I tell you a secret? Promise you won't tell mom? Cross my heart and hope to die. My mom gave me a birthday present and said my dad sent it. 
and I know it was really from her. How do you know that? I'm seven, but I'm not stupid. My mom said it was from him, so I wouldn't think he forgot about me. But don't tell her I know, because it would make her feel bad. Okay? Okay. I don't care about presents. I just received them home for Christmas. I don't know what I did that was so bad that he didn't want me no more. Anymore. Anymore. But there's got to be a reason why he doesn't come to see me. I know I'm clumsy and I drop stuff. Daddy calls me Butterfingers. Do you think if I wasn't so clumsy, he would have stayed? Oh, um, no, no, Zoe, everybody drops stuff. It's not a big deal. Maybe I'm just not lovable. Zoe, of course you are. Zoe, some people are just really good at loving other people, you know? And some people don't know how. Nobody ever showed them. Like I showed you how to skate? Yeah, sort of. Did your dad love you? Didn't always feel like he did. Why not? Were you bad? I wasn't good enough at sports. That was really important to him. He was a star of his college baseball team. I think your dad should have loved you, even if you couldn't do stuff perfect. Can I tell you a secret? Sure. I remember one time, I was about your age, and my dad was trying to teach me how to catch a ball. You know? And he kept throwing the ball, and I kept missing it. Mostly because the, the glove that he gave me was too big for my hand, you know? I mean, I just kept slipping. He kept looking more and more mad. He threw one last ball. He threw it really, really high in the air. And as I watched it come down, I just prayed to God to catch it just one time. Did you catch it? I got my glove. couldn't hold on to it. Glove slipped and I dropped the ball. What did your dad do? He just looked at me. And then he walked away. And that was it for catch. It wasn't your fault. It's a stupid glove. He should have got you a glove that fit. You know, sorry, I've, I've never told anybody that before. Oh, don't worry. I will tell. Cross my heart, hope did I stick, stick a thousand, thousand needles, needles in, in my eye. eye. Yeah, yeah, I remember, <laughs> remember. Yeah. You better get some sleep. What do you think? Okay. You could use this. Thanks. She's a bright kid. <laughs> a little too bright sometimes. You don't mind my asking, where is her father? 
Who knows? Jerry is, well, he's something of a con artist. Balfour, who couldn't stay on the tour. He left six months ago without saying goodbye to Zoe, so she keeps thinking he'll come back. Does he ever see her? He phones now and then. Last time was a few months ago. He said he would be passing through and that he'd stop by. She fell asleep waiting by the window. What happened? He never showed up. After that, she started, you know, having some problems. You know, I think you should make him see her. You can't make someone be a parent. You, of all people, should understand that. Well, I just have, I haven't met the right person, that's all. Look, Sam, <clears throat> I don't know if you realize it, but Zoe, she's becoming very fond of you. I, I wouldn't encourage it. Because? Because you're just passing through her life, too. I feel bad enough about putting her in this position, so please, just let us do our job and, and leave when it's finished with no hurt feelings, all right? room. Look, Annie, I knew it all along. He's an angel. Don't be silly. The blanket has feathers. That's all it is. It's from his wings. You'll see. Well, if everything checks out, gentlemen, <clears throat> we should be able to drop the contract by next week. Of course, that's Christmas. Oh, it's, that's no problem at all, right, sir? Now, you're welcome to share the holidays with us, sir. <clears throat> Don't you have some... No, there's only my son and his family there in Hong Kong until the new year. My son has business there. Excuse me, gentlemen. See him as soon as I find out just what they're up to. I don't know what you mean. Let me help you. You and Kathleen aren't married. Kathleen hasn't moved out of her apartment. So what are she and Zoe doing living with you? Kathleen's helping me out with a business transaction. <laughs> don't hustle a hustler, Sam. So how does it feel to be in the middle of closing the biggest deal of your life? I don't see how that's any of your concern. What concerns my wife and child concerns me. Ex-wife. Still. What do you think this Javier Del Campo would say if he knew they're not your family? I think he'd say, ay, caramba, and I tail it back to Mexico. <laughs> How much do you want, Jerry? Oh, I just need a little something to tide me over till I get back on tour. Say, somewhere north of 10,000, somewhere south of 20. Now, let's make it 20. I'll have it the day after Christmas. Just one condition. You don't contact Kathleen and Zoe until then. Sam, they're my family. If I want to see him, I'll see him. Not until after Christmas or we have no deal. Okay, okay. Call my office. Give me your address and phone number. I contact you. Pleasure doing business with you, Sam. Why didn't you say goodbye to Zoe? I couldn't. Now, you'll find that most of the uh, terms of the agreement are... Senor. Well, Mexican wedding cake cookies. Senora, feel they're perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. No, mm. thank you. <clears throat> Where were we? Oh, yes, the contract of sale. The first thing... Sale? Gonna... I thought this was a merger. Well, not exactly. It's... <laughs> Don't worry about it, darling. It's just business you wouldn't understand. Oh, I think even my dense little female brain can understand the difference between a merger and a sale. Will production move to Mexico? Oh, yes, of course. 
Now, that means that most of your employees will lose their jobs. Are you certain that is not a problem? Oh, well, uh, no. That's no problem at all because we have a referral plan. They'll be just fine. They'll be just fine? Yes, they'll be just fine. Could you ask Annie if she has any more coffee to go with these delicious cookies, dear? Certainly, dear. Oh, Annie, the gentleman would like more coffee. And put some arsenic in Mr. Fields. The, uh, the deferred purchase Mr. price Field? application. Mr. Field, you're wanted on the floor. Culpepper says it's urgent. Come on, something done right. Excuse me, gentlemen. And once it got started, it was like a revolt. There you are. Good. I knew you wouldn't want to miss this. Here's the ringleader. Oh, loosen up, Cully. Kathleen, Miss Russell, what is going on? It's real nice of you to throw this bash for us, Mr. Field. Carly's a single mother, like most of the women you have working for you here. Pleased to meet you, Cully. Oh, the pleasure is mine. And I just wanted to thank you, Mr. F. In six months, I'll have saved enough of my hard-earned money to go to nursing school that night. And it's all thanks to you. Cheers. Over there is Sarah Quincy. Sarah's baby is due next month. She really should be home resting, you know. But you see, she and her husband, they bought this lovely little house, and they really need two incomes. Kathleen. And over there is Susan Epstein. Did you know that Susan has been here since the day the plant opened? That's terrific. So in a way, Sam, she has as much invested here as you do. <laughs> and right over there Come is Come with me, will you please? Thank you. See, he has been working well. Okay, okay, you made your point. Now I'm gonna make mine. Let me explain how business works. It's a fast track. You either run in front or you get run over. I just wanted you to look under their faces before you take away their security. There are plenty of jobs for people like them. You can't begin to understand what it's like out I there. I know what it's like. I was there once myself, and I worked my way up, and so can these people. Come on, Sam. You've forgotten what it's like to live from paycheck to paycheck, and you've never had to stare into the face of a child who was too worried to ask questions. But for a lot of these people, this job is the only thing that stands between them and welfare. We can make of ourselves anything we want. That's called free enterprise. Is that your father talking? This has nothing to do with my father. Of course it does. You want his approval so badly you can't see that he failed in what really matters. Wait, what, what would you know about that? If you don't watch out, you're going to make the same mistake he did. Oh, well, now we're getting into your area of expertise. What are you talking about? You are so terrified about repeating your own mistakes, you won't let another man near you. Ah, oh, that's absurd. Is it really? Sometimes I feel so close to you, it scares me. Because I've already been with a man who would sell out his family and his friends for a deal. What are you saying? That if I make this deal with Del Campo, you're walking away? Wasn't that the plan all along? Yeah, no. One thing has nothing to do with another. Well, of course it does. I mean, who's to say if a better deal comes along? I, I won't wind up like one of those workers over oh, there. Oh, that's good. That... You are the most impossible woman I have ever met. You know, I can see now why your husband walked out on you. Tell me then. Why did he walk out on Zoe, too?
was hoping I could leave a little early. I still have to get some last minute presents. Of course you can. Good night, Betty. Merry Christmas. Good night. Merry Christmas. Presents. I forgot presents. I think it goes this way. How did you know that? Ah, I've done this sort of thing before. Yeah, well, that's enough for Mr. Dinosaur. <sighs> Tired? Yeah. Putting people out of work must be exhausting. <laughs> Look, Kathleen, I'm gonna do whatever it takes to help those people find other jobs. I'm not just gonna throw them out with two weeks' notice. I'm even gonna provide placement services. I appreciate that. And I'm sorry that I lost my head. I didn't oh, mean... Me, me too. I, I... I was way out of line. <sighs> I've never seen so many presents. Del Campo will be impressed. They're not for Del Campo's benefit, they're for Zoe's. I don't know, I just... want to give her a nice Christmas. Thank you. That's very thoughtful of you. I remember my dad. He was a milkman, so, you know, we didn't have much money, but every Christmas, I get one big gift, and one year I got this elaborate paint set, and I just, I just went crazy. I painted everything. I even painted the cat. It's the best Christmas I ever had. What was yours? This one. My mother, um, she used to put my pictures up on the refrigerator. She even framed some of them. Very proud of me. Made me think I could be an artist for real someday. Still can. That's the dream, but right now I have to think about Zoe. You're really gutsy, you know that? I don't have a choice. Something I want to tell you. The only reason I've avoided starting a family is because... because I was afraid I'd be a lousy father. I've seen you with Zoe. You'd be an excellent father. I, I look at you now and... and I see... What? Presents, huh? Aren't you excited, Zoe? I guess so. For a little girl who has so much, you don't seem very happy, Zoe. But I thought... How do you know uh, you didn't get what you wanted if you haven't opened your presents yet? Good point. 
Okay, so who's opening what first? Mine huh? first. Open mine first. Oh, for me? Oh. Yes, for you. Okay. Good way to start. Did you wrap this yourself? Yeah. Very impressive. You want to know how? I borrowed one of your regular gloves so I know the right size. This one won't slip around on your hand. I'll bet you can catch every single ball with it. Don't you like it? It's the best gift I ever got. Thank you so much. I wonder what this can be. Oh, Sam. Oh. oh, it's beautiful. Oh, oh, but I can't. Of course you can. It's for that dream of yours. Let's see what we have here. I need oh, that. this <laughs> is wonderful. Looks like Santa forgot something. Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas. And it is Christmas, right, Sam? Morning, Dave. Thank you. Feliz Navidad, sir! Oh, Senor Herbert. Well, Feliz Navidad, Prospero Año Nuevo, y felicidades. Right. Um, I got you a little something here for... Well, it's for signing the contract. Beautiful. Gracias, senor. You know, I, I, uh, I happen to have the contract with me. Why don't we sign it now, and that way we don't have to wait till tomorrow. Very well. Great. Senor. You know, I never do business on Christmas Day. <laughs> but, uh... Dave. It'll wait. Um... I'll go get breakfast. Senora Field. Look above you. Since you're both standing beneath it, are you not supposed to kiss? Just like your mommy. 
Hey, Kathleen. Daddy, I got a present for you. Come on, I'll show you. Okay, come on. When did he come back? A couple of days ago. I'm sorry, Kathleen, I should have told you. Daddy, please tell me that's not her father. Senor Field, who was that gentleman with Zoe? That's Zoe's real father. I've got some explaining to do. That, that is beautiful. Me, you, mommy. Huh. I'm curious, senor. Why do you tell me this now when everything you wish for is within your reach? I... I don't know. I think you do. No, I was just... It was stupid pretending to have a family. Well, you weren't pretending all the time. When you try to decide what is important, always think with the heart, not the head. The heart is wiser. Wait a minute. Wait one minute. We still have a signed contract. Yes, we do. So it is up to you, Senor Field. You still want to go through with it. I did not think so. Well, I have no further business here. Vaya con Dios. Wait, senor! Senor, you, you, you didn't meet my family. Dave. What? Let it go. What? Sam, we have to sign contract. Let it go. What are you doing? So, how long are you staying, Jerry? I gotta be leaving tonight. So... Tonight? Ah, uh, Zoe, I have this great opportunity now. This could get me back on the tour. You're gonna be so proud of your old man. <laughs> Before you leave this time, you better say goodbye. So, honey, I'd stay if I could, but I... You can never stay. Zoe, you are still the best thing in my life. I love you, darling. Always will. But you and your mama, you deserve something better. You deserve somebody who can be with you every day, honey. I think you might have found that. <laughs> Zoe. <laughs> Zoe. You'll always be my special girl, honey. Now, Zoe, I'm gonna catch you. All you have to do is let go. No! I'm scared! I'm not gonna drop you, Zoe. You gotta trust me. Zoe! Zoe, just do as he says. I love you, Zoe. And I'm not gonna let anything happen to you. 
Now! Right now! You did it. You didn't drop me. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>